having a post-game party up in here tonight. In fact, let's get it really going. Boom. Let's see if we can get, look, there we go. All right, we're having a little little bit of fun here tonight. We're having a little bit of a party and stuff. Um, just got back from dropping off my buddy David Wiley. And um, we, we know that Dalton Schultz is getting an MRI. They're not worried about the ACL. Uh, but, the, you know, <clears throat> the Cowboys, I think they have stock in... I think the Cowboys actually have stock in the MRI machines because it seems like, you know, people get a hangnail and they're getting, of course, uh, uh, checked out with an MRI um, and things. Now, before the game tonight, I had uh, the privilege of having Rashid. Rashid, you know, Rashid, the, the stinking New York Giant fan, he, he's, he's friends. He's friends and family and all that. We love Rashid, you know, and he's, of course, welcome here. It's just like... Um, my, my other son, Rio, over here, you know, we, we had a good time with him. And since this is actually Giants hate week, um, shit gets real. You know, this is where uh, these games are even more important than being uh, beating, of course, the Cincinnati Bengals, which is an AFC team. Um, getting this win may be what actually saves the season. You don't want to start off 0-2 because 0-2 you know, only 9% of the teams that start out 0-2 end up making the playoffs. So it was key to get this win. Cincinnati, of course, you know what's going to happen tomorrow. They're going to say, well, the Cowboys, you know, they got lucky. And Cincinnati's got the Super Bowl hangover. It's going to be more what is wrong with Cincinnati versus the fact that the Cowboys' defense did damage. Um, before the game, though, before the Giants even kicked off, I was having a conversation with Rasheed because I was saying, can we compare Micah Parsons, you know, first two years with what LT did? And immediately, small-minded Giant fans go crazy. When I started talking last year about Micah Parsons could be the next LT, when you look at what Micah Parsons was doing, at this point, I think Micah had had like nine sacks because I can, you know, compared it to LT having nine and a half as his rookie year, being, the, you know, a, a rookie of the year defensive player. And I said, you know, what Micah Parsons is doing is something that we haven't seen since Lawrence Taylor. And, you know, Bad Dog literally went through. And Bad Dog, if you want to do another video and tell me how crazy I am, then that's, that's fine. That's fine. Go right ahead. I welcome it. But right now, Micah Parsons was the best player in the NFL today. Changed my mind. Changed my mind. In fact, here's what's crazy right now, okay? is if you look at what Micah Parsons has done right now, last week we had heard that Micah Parsons was the fastest man to 15 sacks. 15 sacks. He got two last week on Tom Brady. He got two this week on uh, Joe Burrow. And I will dare say that the pressures, I haven't seen all the numbers, how many pressures and everything else that he had. He was an absolute positive beast because if he was not sacking him, he was tackling somebody or he was putting pressure on that forced Joe Burrow to make some bad throws. And for the Cowboys, you're not going to be out of any game as long as you have this defense, as long as Micah Parsons is upright. And right now, here's what's amazing, you know, and, and I know all of the Lawrence Taylor fans out there. And, and I'm not saying this to disrespect Lawrence Taylor. In fact, I'm saying this because what we're seeing is something we have not seen since Lawrence Taylor. I want you to understand that if you take Lawrence Taylor's first and second year, and I know it's difficult comparing what Lawrence Taylor did in his generation because they didn't pass as much as they do now. So it's not necessarily apples to oranges. However, in the first two years of Lawrence Taylor's career, he had 17 sacks. Micah Parsons, two games into his second season, has 17 sacks. And they say, well, you can't say Micah Parsons, you know, is like Lawrence Taylor because Lawrence Taylor changed and affected games. You're going to tell me that Micah Parsons out there does not rally the troops, does not change the games? 
I can go back to, you know, ask Tyler Heineke if he changes games or not. Now, I get it. I'm not saying that what Micah Parsons has done in his career is the same as what Lawrence Taylor did in his. I'm not saying that. So stop killing me for this. But what I'm saying is, right now, what he has done in comparison to where LT was in his career, we're on the same path. If Micah Parsons continues, and with T.J. Watt being injured for at least some of the season, you now have to look at this and say, well, there's an opportunity for him to become Defensive Player of the Year. If Micah Parsons becomes Defensive Player of the Year after being NFL Defensive Rookie of the Year, I believe LT is the only one to do that back-to-back. So we kind of have to start looking at this. Here's what Lyle Collins had to say about his former teammate. Micah Parsons, he's just one hell of a player. That's what he is. That's probably one of the best defensive fronts we're going to see all year, if not the best. Just got to get back to work. Micah Parsons definitely laid the wood to him. In fact, let's listen to Micah Parsons in his own words after the game. Micah, what a game. First off, I'm sure you're exhausted after that one and that long drive from Cincinnati there. But what can you say about your defense? Let's start there. Two sacks by you, shredding the double teams, seven sacks total. What was the key to getting it done against the Bengals there? I mean, we had to get be relentless today. I mean, knowing Dags down, now all the injuries, we really had to step as a defense. We're on and in on, and in on this year. Defense mentality. We got to be relentless. Hard work and a bunch of bad mother, you know what I'm saying? So that's that's been the mentality. Glad you caught yourself there. No Dak, you mentioned it. What about the job that Cooper Rush was able to do coming in here? Oh, Say hello, oh, you're good. Oh man, Cooper Rush did a great job. I believe in Coop. Like I said last year, he stepped in big for us last year against Minnesota and he did it again. It just goes to his preparation, next man mentality, and everything that he stands for, man. I'm super happy for him. What do you say to Cowboy Nation, who after starting 0-1, losing Dak, was like, I don't know what's going to happen Gut with punch. the Cowboys. What do you have to say to them? I said, if you don't believe in us, we're going to fight. That's all I believe in. We're going to fight back against the wall. Nobody believes in us, but we're going to believe in each other in this locker room. Don't give Amen. up on us yet. We got the rest of the season, baby. Great job today. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah, Micah Parsons talking about Lyle Collins. I love Lyle. He's like a big brother to me. He taught me the game of pass rush, stayed after practice with me, watched stuff with me. So Lyle, so Lyle um, is like a big brother to me, and I was just super happy we got to compete today. Man, you did not only get to compete. You, you ran circles around him. Some of the moves you made around him, it was crazy. You know, you looked like basically you were a track star. And you looked like you were exhausted. So shout out to you, Micah Parsons, and the defense. You guys did one hell of a job. And um, I'm going to go up here, and I'm going to watch Game of Thrones. And then I'm going to be back out here with my fireside chat, which we will be giving out our game balls. Um, I would have done the... Uh, uh, Green Bay game. I don't even know what the score. Is. Let me even look. I don't even know what the score is on that thing. I've been just uh, getting everything cleaned up and redone here in the man cave um, from the game. It's been actually a long, long game, long day, and um, I I'm a little exhausted at the moment. Oh, Green Bay is destroying the Bears, 24 to seven. So you know, Aaron Rodgers basically saying, "Relax." So. Actually, I'm glad I'm not watching that game right now because I hate Aaron Rodgers. But as always, I appreciate you guys, and you know how we roll. Our coach here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Sports Report. How about them Cowboys? Yeah, buddy. Peace.
You got to be kidding me. Come on, man. Oh, shit. I was streaming that? 